Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is another installment in my How Long Does It Take to Use Up series. Today we're going to be talking about five different face moisturizers. For each of these five face creams, I have tracked how long it took to finish each one, how many uses it took to finish, and from there I will be talking to you about cost per ounce, cost per use, and helping you better to determine whether or not these would be good values for you. The five I'll be talking about are the Yes to Blueberries Daily Repairing Moisturizer, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, the Kapari Coconut Face Cream, the Embryo Lace Lay Cream Concentre, and the Elf Hello Hydration Face Cream. I started this series by talking mostly about makeup products, I talked about blushes, and from there I moved into bronzers, foundations, etc. And then recently I started also including skincare and other non-makeup products like lip balms and lip oils and things like that. So if you are also someone who likes to quantify things or look at the numbers, I highly recommend checking out that playlist. It's something that I work very hard on, I'm very proud of it, and I hope you enjoy this video. Before I get started, I would be very interested to know which cream you think is going to be the best value per use. Which one is going to be the cheapest per use? Is it going to be one of the higher end ones or is it going to be one of the more drugstore ones? As you've seen in some of my previous videos, even if a product is cheaper, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best value. So please leave your guess in the comments, let me know which one you think before we get started, and then let me know if your guess was right. I'm going to start by talking about the most expensive per use cream and then work my way down to the one that is the least expensive per use. And as I go, I will give many reviews of each product, but at the same time, I will try my best to keep things very succinct. And I will have charts on the side here in case you're more of a visual person and want to look at the numbers. Let's start with the Kapari Coconut Face Cream. I have talked about this before. I've used up a sample size and this full size bottle here. For 2.5 ounces, it is $38, making it $15.20 per ounce. If you wait until the 20% off sale, either from Sephora or Ulta, you can pay $30.40 for this, bringing it down to $12.16 per ounce. In order to finish this full size, it took me 102 uses, making it 37 cents per use full price or if you get it on sale it brings it down to 30 cents per use. I would like to mention that I did talk about this in a separate Kopari version of this video where I talked about four different Kopari products and calculated the cost per use for each of them. In that video I talked about a sample size of this, a travel size, and in that video I estimated how many uses it would take to finish a full size, and I said 108 uses. Because my estimate and my actual number are so close, 102 compared to 108, it makes me feel like my calculations in that video were correct, even though I was only estimating using a travel size. The Kapari face cream is by far the most expensive per use. I do think it's a lovely cream, but Face cream is something I use twice a day, every day. It is something that I want to work, I want it to feel good on my skin and do the job, but I don't want to be spending a ton of money for it. I don't think that there are any ingredients in here that are changing my life or making my skin the best that it could be. As a result, I will not be repurchasing. I'm really glad that I was able to do this estimate because now I know that even though it is a lovely product and I do like it, and if you can get your hands on a travel size, I recommend it, it is something that is not worth the money to me. There are some creams I will be talking about in this video that I love that are much more affordable and I will be continuing to use those from now on. Surprisingly, the next most expensive per use product is one of the more affordable drugstore brands. It's the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Daily Repairing Moisturizer. I mentioned in my previous empties video where I talked about this cream that I did not care for the formula, I didn't like the packaging, I didn't like the scent, and I didn't really like how it moisturized my skin. I didn't really think it did a good job. It didn't make my face feel nice. Pretty much everything about this I wasn't crazy about. I liked it enough to finish it and luckily it didn't take me long to finish so I was able to work through it relatively quickly and move on to other moisturizers that I like better. Full price this is $15.99. I got it from the Vitacost website. I don't know where else you can get this. It is 1.7 ounces making it $9.41 per ounce. I got this on sale on the Vitacost website. It cost me $12.79 bringing it down to $7.52 per ounce. This only took me 45 uses to finish the entire thing, making it 36 cents per use, and because I did get it on sale, it only cost me 28 cents per use. Expensive for a product that I don't love. This already was not worth the money for me because I didn't really love the cream, but if it is something that you do like and you like to repurchase often, just keep in mind that it is relatively expensive per use compared to other creams that I'm talking about today. I really don't hear a lot of people talking about this, so I'm sure for most people this isn't like their holy grail cream. 
I don't recommend trying it. I do hear that the eye cream is fantastic. People love it. I'm having trouble finding it. So if you recommend it and you know where to buy it, please let me know. I am still curious to try that. One thing to know is that this has an airless pump and so it moves its way up through the bottle. And I do like that packaging. It seems very sanitary. A lot of air is in touching the product, etc. And it makes me feel like I'm getting as much out of the container as I can because it's not something that I can squeeze out. But the pumps are very large and because of the way the push down system is, you can't just take a dollop. Like you have to take the full pump pretty much. It's very difficult to get less than that. So yeah, not to be so negative and downer about this specific product. I'm sure there are other products from this brand that are good. This one in particular is just not my favorite. And now that I've seen the numbers, I'm more than sure that this is not worth the money for me. The next cream I want to talk about is a little bit more affordable and it is one of my favorite creams. I've raved about it for years. It's the Embryolise Lay Cream Concentré. This full price is $28 for 2.54 ounces, making it $11.02 per ounce. Usually I get this on sale from the Derm Store website. A lot of products, if you add them to your wish list before you put them in your cart, you get like a 10 or 15% off. Uh, deal on all of those products. Not every product is eligible for that, but if you are someone who purchases from brands that are available on the Derm Store website that you normally can't buy on sale elsewhere, look into it. I have also found that they sell two packs of this on the Costco website, I think for $39, which is a really great deal and something I will most likely put on my Christmas list. <laughs> because I get them on sale from the Derm Store website, it brings it down to $22.40, making it $8.82 per ounce. This took me 109 uses to finish, and that makes it 26 cents per use. If you were to get it on sale the way I did, it would be 21 cents per use. Honestly, that still seems a bit high for me, especially because moisturizer is something I use twice a day. So in order to have a day's worth of moisturizer, both a face cream for morning and night, it's going to cost me 42 cents a day. And I think previously if I had just done this calculation for this cream alone, because I do love it, I think it's good quality, and it really does make a difference to my skin. It is something that I recommend regularly. Part of me still feels like it is worth it for me because it does provide such good value. But because I do have another cream in here that is way more affordable and a cream that I like almost just as much as this, it makes me a little bit more hesitant to purchase it. It is something that I just like having in my skincare routine. It's something that I feel I can fall back on whenever my skin is being weird or just extra dry, especially in this season when this, when the air is very dry. But it does make me hesitate to make this my only moisturizer. Perhaps I can still get the benefits of this cream by using it a few times a week whenever I feel like I really want it for my skin and then substituting in a cheaper moisturizer that I like just as much but that is just much more affordable. The second to last cream I want to talk about is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Cream. I used up a sample size, a smaller size of it, I think the one or two ounce bottle. And from there, I'm estimating how many uses it would take to finish the full size because obviously this one still has product in it. And I feel more confident in the numbers I have for this cream now that I know how close my estimate was for the travel size Campari cream compared to the full size. Unfortunately, I no longer have the travel size bottle. I don't think I kept it after I talked about it in an empties video several months ago. Full price, this is $38 for an eight ounce bottle, making it $4.75 per ounce. I believe this is available on the Sephora website or the First Aid Beauty website. If you were able to get a 20% off coupon through the First Aid Beauty site, or you were able to get it 20% off through the Sephora VIP sale, this would cost you $30.40, making it $3.80 per ounce. The travel size of this, which was two ounces, took me 83 uses to finish. That is 41.5 uses per ounce. I'm going to use that number to estimate how many uses it would take to finish an eight ounce bottle by multiplying 41.5 times 8. With that, I estimate that this is going to take me 332 uses to finish, making it 11 cents per use, and if I get it on sale, it'll cost me 9 cents per use. If you can see, there's a big jump between the Embryo Lease, which is 21 cents per use on sale, versus 9 cents per use for this one. As much as I like this cream, I don't think it's the most luxurious product out there. I do like that it has colloidal oatmeal in there. It seems to have a very minimal fragrance, nothing in there that's going to bother sensitive skin. It even says safe for sensitive skin on the bottle. No parabens, harsh chemicals, or colorants. It is good for dry parched skin. You can use this on eczema. You can use it on your body as well. So it feels like this is a really good quality product that is safe for my skin and is only going to do good things for it. I like the way it makes my skin feel, but it doesn't feel luxuriously soft and plump the way it does from the Umbro Lease. So while this is not my favorite, I do enjoy having it and knowing that it is a very good value for your money only makes me like it even more.
The very last one, one of my favorites from the five and the most affordable, is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. This is made with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. It's 1.8 ounces in a jar. My only complaint is that it is in a jar, so I'm dipping my fingers in it every time I use it. It's not the most sanitary, but I still think it's a fabulous product. I love the texture. I love the way it makes my skin feel. You don't need a lot of it to really see benefits in your skin. You can use a little bit more to make it more of a night cream or a night treatment. And also with e.l.f., they have a lot of 50% off sales on their website. So if you don't want to pay the full $12 for this, you can wait until it goes on sale and get it for $6, which is a great deal. Like I said, it's $12 for a 1.8 ounce bottle, making it $6.67 per use. If you wait for a 50% off sale from the e.l.f. website, you can get it for $6, bringing it down to $3.33 per ounce. This actually took me 89 uses to finish, which is really great. You really don't need a lot of the product in order to cover your entire face. It spreads very far, so it is something that you don't need a ton of, you just need like a half a pea size amount for your entire face. That makes it 13 cents per use, and if you get it on sale, it is 7 cents per use. It is slightly cheaper than the First Aid Beauty, but I think they're similar enough in price that you could interchange them. Whichever one you prefer is the one that's going to be better value for you. This is one of my favorite creams. I love it. I will definitely be repurchasing it once I work through some of the other creams in my collection. But this is fantastic. I don't know why people aren't talking about it more. It is definitely a hidden gem at the drugstore. I would like to point out that these videos are just meant to be informative and fun. It's not me telling you what to buy. It's not me telling you that you're wasting your money if you purchase or like one of the more expensive creams. Even though the price per use is something that we can all use to look at as a benchmark, Mark, your highest value cream might be very different from mine. At the end of the day, whatever brings you the most value is going to be the one that you like the most and the one that you use the most. But this really is to just give you some information to work with and figure out what's going to be the best value for you. I hope you guys are enjoying these types of products. I would like to talk more about skincare and other things outside of makeup, but I do still have a lot of makeup products that I'm tracking. I do hope to have a video very soon about how I track my products. I do get a lot of questions about how I'm able to physically track so many products at once. And though I do my best to answer, and that really it is just a Google spreadsheet that I update every day, I would like to make a video showing you how I do it and how I track everything. I'm still having trouble figuring out how to record my screen. I wanted to be able to go through and actually show you the documents as I go through. And I'm still trying to figure out the technology for that. I might not have the right laptop or the right application to do it. So I'm working on it. Trust me, it will come soon. I'm just having some technology problems. If anyone knows how to set up screen recording on a Mac laptop on a MacBook Air, please let me know if there's like a YouTube tutorial or some kind of information I can have. The faster I learn, the faster that video can come out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and fun, but that's everything I have today. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!